hello guys welcome to the channel professor view bench today we'll see how to perform thin layer chromatography to check reaction uh, is completed or not so here we'll go so thin layer chromatography tlc is a chromatography techniques to use uh, to reaction or completion or to separate non volatile mixtures now here we see how to perform thin layer chromatography here the synthesis of benzimidazole from opd and formic acid was tested by using tlc tlc was taken at initial stage and as well as after one hour so here is the reaction reaction was orthophenylene diamine is uh, reacting with formic acid and uh, reflux was done to get the benzimidazole so here we have uh, recorded the video that how to perform the thin layer chromatography so here is the video so here we go to perform the TLC first we'll prepare uh, the starting material that is orthophenylene diamine by dissolving in a particular solvent that is it is soluble in ethanol so small amount of uh, orthophenylene diamine will take on watch glass we have to dissolve it in ethanol so we'll take ethanol that is by using dropper this is ethanol so we'll take a uh, few drops of ethanol in wash glass then after we'll have the spot of this opd and ethanol mixture on tlc plate by using capillary so here here we go to have this spot on this TLC plate so spot should be at uh, some distance from the bottom that it should not deep into the solvent now similarly we will take the uh, spot of uh, reaction mixture that is reaction mixture of uh, orthophenylene diamine with formic acid that is by using by dipping glass rod we have to take it by using capillary so here we put the spot of reaction mixture just in front of the starting material that we have given already so like this we have to put the spot okay so this is the spot of reaction mixture now we have to put this TLC plate to for to run the in solvent system that is solvent system is prepared by the mixture of uh, benzene is to ethanol that is 4 is to 1 so after putting this TLC into solvent system we have to just uh, keep it into the solvent system to run up to 1 fourth now side by side we have uh, kept this reaction for uh, reflux for one hour because uh, we have to check the tlc after one hour also the tlc we should have to perform after the interval of 15 minutes or half an hour uh, now here complete run of solvent have been takes place so we have to just remove this tlc from the solvent system and uh, we have to keep it for the visualization now there are so many visualizing agents or uh, chemicals here we have used to visualize this uh, TLC that is uh, iodine chamber now we have to put this TLC into iodine chamber to visualize the spots now before visualizing we have to measure the solvent run and after visualizing we have to measure the solute run to determine the RF value now after taking visualizing uh, into iodine chamber the spots get visualized 
and after visualization we have got the TLCs same reaction we have to uh, perform for uh, af after one hour so we have uh, got the TLCs uh, both TLCs we have got in at initial stage also and after one hour also so here are the TLCs now this is these are the TLCs which uh, we get after TLC at initial stage and after uh, one hour so if we see the TLC at initial stage it clearly indicates the runoff spot that are both spot are uh, we are getting after visualization in front of each other so it indicates there is a presence of a reactant in a reaction mixture still so here reaction has not started yet it requires a few times to complete or to start the reaction now if we see the TLC after one hour of reaction so it clearly indicates that we are not getting the spot of reactant uh, in front of the reaction uh, in the reaction mixture but uh, it clearly indicates that reaction is completed because we are not getting the spot of reactant uh, if you get the rea uh, spot of reactant in reaction mixture so it indicates that there is still uh, some sort of reactant remains in the reaction which is unreacted now here is tailing of peak we are uh, seeing in the reaction mixture uh, spot so that is because of the presence of formic acid that is acid that uh, usually gives the tailing of peak in thin, uh, thin layer chromatography so this is all about how to perform the thin layer chromatography to check the reaction completion I hope uh, you have you guys have liked this video so please comment your suggestion in comment box if you want me to make more videos like this so please like share comment and subscribe to the channel professor Bubens. I have prepared this video in collaboration with labmonk team so if you want to go for more practical protocols do visit to www.labmonk.com and my special thanks to my uh, dear second year and third year students Thank you. Thank you so much.